what is up welcome back today i am filming i'm starting to film the video of me making my own custom uh lesson planner so if you watched my ec haul i bought three eight and a half by 11 notebooks and they are the blank sketchbook so there's nothing in them and because they're eight and a half by 11, they're the size of a regular piece of letter paper that you can put in your printer. I am going to uncoil the, the notebook and just put the pages that are already punched that are the 80 pound Mohawk paper that I love. And I'm just gonna put them in my printer, feed them through and print out my own custom lesson planner. So right now at this very moment i'm actually making a calendar like with the mini calendars the mini months and these things i'm making this and i can show you guys what that looks like so this is what my mini calendar looks like this is a digital paper from a shop that i love called right lovely and then i'm going to do something like this to kind of like plan the months and I only need one page of each. I don't need a double page because this is only a six month lesson planner. So that's what those look like. And now I'm going to uncoil my book. So yeah, so basically I'm going to just uncoil and usually I use, um, oh, I might have to use, okay. So to uncoil, if you've never seen somebody uncoil uh, a planner or a notebook, I always take off my covers, which is loud. So I'm gonna stop talking. So I take off my covers and then I've never done um, this. Well, I guess I have, I have, okay, no, I have done an eight and a half by 11. So I take my book and I will either put like a clothes pin or if I have them large enough, I'll put binder clips. This scared me. So I'll put a binder clip on either side and then I have these little jewelry pliers. Um, these ones are like rounded. So I find they don't scratch up my coil as much. You can get these at like the dollar store. And I have a cleaning cloth that I get life proof cases. My husband and I get life proof cases and they used to come with these. So I literally just stick the cleaning cloth around my pliers. Somebody commented on my videos once that you could, wa you could wrap washi around the end of the coil and that's a really good idea. I'm just lazy and this is faster. So you literally, I take my pliers and I unbend the end of my coil. So this is what it starts off looking like. They bend it up like this. You want yours to try to look like the rest of the coil. This hump is really hard to get rid of. So, and I don't find it makes much of a difference. It slows you down a little bit, but if you're okay with that, it's really freaking hard to get rid of it. So I just leave it and I just literally uncoil. I set it on my lap. With the planners, it's harder because they have tabs, but obviously the notebooks don't have tabs. So I just set it on my lap. I'm not worried about tab spending. Um, and I just kind of unspool. You can buy machines to coil things. Like you can buy machines to punch this like oval shape. Um, I have a coiling machine that's for comb binding and I hate comb binding because you can't, I like to fold my notebooks on each other and there's like a back part to the comb binding. So you just can't and I, I just hate it. Um, I do have one of those machines. My mom used to use it at work and like, it's not mine, it's still her works, but it's kind of been here for a year and I just, nobody's asked for it because they don't do anything with physical paper anymore. Everything's digital. But these machines to punch and coil, this type of coil, $300. which is crazy. And like I said, I don't like going to Staples. It takes me time. They don't just do it when you're there. I have to like go home and they call me 24 hours later. So you know what? This is good quality paper. I will pay the $16, the $21 or whatever it is to get good paper already punched. I don't have to go anywhere. 
I, it's it's here it's done for me so i'm taking my binder clips off and now i have all of my sketchbook i i've been racking my brain on what i want for my front page i think i'm just gonna leave this and put my name in it nobody looks at this page anyways and i want a nice front page it's already there for me so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to print my mini calendars on the back side of this. So my printer, I have a Canon PIXMA G6020 and it's a mega tank one. And if you have a little bit of extra money in your budget for a printer, it was like a $300 printer, insane. I bought it when I had my Etsy shop open. And honestly, I bought it for me because I'm a teacher. I print a lot of things at home because I want them colored when I print them. So I bought ink last July, no, July, 2020, I bought ink. July, 2020, July, 2021. Whenever I opened my shop that July, it's been like a year and a half since I've had to buy ink. I still don't need to buy ink. I still have quite a bit. So my printer, I have the back slot and the bottom slot. I use the bottom slot and I'm gonna turn you around in a minute. Um, but whichever side you want to print on, that needs to be facing the bottom. So this take note sketchbook front page is going to be facing up because for my printer, it goes in and comes out like that. So whatever side you wanna print on needs to be on the bottom. So I am going to insert, that was probably really squeaky and loud. I'm gonna take my sticker paper out and I'm going to insert with the side I want to print on, on the bottom. And I'm going to show you that. So here is my page. I'm going to insert it like this. It's eight and a half by 11. That's what size my tray is. So this side is the side I don't want to print on. The side I want to print on is on the bottom. So I'm going to close my tray. And then I have to do like settings every time I open my tray. So it's letter, it's plain paper. And there we go. And then I'm going to go over to my screen I use Silhouette Studio for anything, planner, stickers, anything, because I know how to use it. So I'm going to print, and this side is the side that the holes will be on, so there's a little more extra space. It's kind of to the side. This is this shows me what it's actually going to print, but I think it's actually more than that, but let's see. I do best quality, and then I print it. Takes a little while. But let's see, let's see how it comes out. This is an experiment. I also forgot to mention that whichever side is the top, you want to go in the printer first because the top comes out first. So there it is. There's my mini months, my first page. Now I'm trying to decide one second, I'm going to turn you guys around. So now I'm trying to decide if I want all my months together at the front of the book. That's typically how um, the old lesson planners were. That's how like a Hobonichi comes. That's how my Kinbor is. But I can't decide if I want the monthlies at all at the beginning. I don't really use the monthlies. So I'm wondering if I disperse them. One, would it break up the planner more? And two, would it make me use them for like planning future lessons? Like obviously on my lesson plan, I, I write down like what we actually did and I would love a space to like jot out, plan out what I want to do. Not necessarily what we will do because things happen. We get behind, middle schoolers are slow. You know what I mean? Like what I write down doesn't necessarily mean it's going to happen. But I would like for it to happen, you know. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I literally only have one page printed, but like, look at it. Beautiful. I'm very, very excited. And it means my idea is going to work. So, you know, that's, um, that makes me feel very good about myself. I'm excited. I'm noticing that I cut off, like, January and April because my, my thing was... It's fine, it's fine, because I forgot to do that. Okay, 
we are going to save this because I can use this for my next year's, like I want some of these for my next year's mini months, mini calendars, lesson planner. There we go, okay. So yeah, so I'm just trying to decide if I want to print out all of my lesson planning pages at once and then put my monthlies in the front if I if I don't put my monthlies in the front and I disperse them I have to figure that out that's a lot of thinking if I just put my monthlies in the front they're not going to be that far away it's only a six month planner I wish you guys could answer me right now let's do this I'm going to print them in the front and if I hate it in September I will disperse them for that planner Let's let, yeah, let's do a little trial run. So I'll put all the monthlies in the front and then the lesson plans at the back. My lesson plans are undated. I think I'm going to leave it that way because dating makes it harder. And then you have to like date everyone and then print it and then change. There's a lot of things that go on. So I think I'm just going to leave them undated. I will date them by hand with a pen. This is going to be mostly like a pen and paper planner. There will be some stickers because I love stickers. Um, but for the most part, it'll be pen. So yeah. And I also can't decide if I want to use my monthlies because I made, which I haven't talked about, but I've, I made a vertical seven by nine. <sighs> Just like the same style as the Erin Condren for the next few months just because I wanted to buy one and I'm like, why don't I just make one? See if I actually want to use it, but I'm going to, I'm going to do another let's chat about that. So I'm not going to talk about that, but I'm trying to decide if I want to use the monthlies that I made in the EC style with the EC colors, or if I want to use my already dated, um, I, I bought an ultimate lesson planner on teachers pay teachers and she has all the calendars until like 2026. It's really awesome. I am going to use some of her forms and stuff in this. Um, but I'm trying to decide if I want to use the calendars. I really like them. They're super cute. They're minimalist. There's not a lot of color in them. They're like, there's color in the top. I'll just show you guys. But I don't know. I can't decide. I think I want to use them because I already have them done. And I took out the weekends in them. I really don't need the weekends. I'm just going to show you guys. So this is what the monthlies look like. So you can see they're one page. They have uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on one side, and then Thursday, Friday, and notes on the other side. And I really like them, and they're quite large, and they're already the right size. So if I use these, I won't have to resize them. I can just print them. So I don't know. I think I'm going to use these ones. Like I said, I wish you guys could be here and help me make decisions, <laughs> but I think I'm going to use these ones. So I will show you guys how I do that. I'm really hoping this video isn't getting confusing me, like flipping back and forth all the time. And I just have you propped up on my printer. So I'm sorry. So it's two pages. So the January side will go on this side of the page and then the classroom calendar. So the other side with Tuesday and Friday will go on this side. So that means that I want to print on this side of the page, right? Yeah, that means I want to print on this side of the page. So I'm going to put it in the printer this way. I'm going to put this side down and I'm actually, I'm going to put six in and I'm just going to print all of those sides at once. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to put them down because I want them to print on this side. I want them to print on the left side of the page. All of this really, really tests my spatial awareness, <laughs> which is funny, but it really does. So I'm going to print. So these are in PowerPoint. This lesson planner is in a PowerPoint. It's really, really easy to customize in PowerPoint. I just want my stuff in silhouette because it's easier to do. So I'm going to do custom range. I want one, three, five, seven, nine, and 11 question mark. January, February, March, April, May, June. Look at me go. How did she know? Okay. So I'm going to print those scale to fit. Don't want two sided us letter custom range. Okay. Print. Let's see if I did that right. 
And then that means the rest of them will go in the opposite way and on the backs of these. Oh, there's a lot there. There's a lot to unpack there. Okay, so I always try to do the easiest thing first so I can ch I can check off my list in my head basically. So June is the last month that I've printed. That doesn't need to go on the back of another month. That needs to go on its own page. So I want it to be on the right page. So this is the side I want to print on. Whatever side you want to print on, you want to put it facing down. I'm going to print the other half of June first, and then that's going to be off my mental checklist and then we can move on. So it just basically makes it so you're making less mistakes. Um, selected slide. Okay. We are going to print. Yeah. So they all came out very nicely. Really like how big they are and they're already dated. So she has them all dated. I'm going to bring you away from the printer because the printer is really loud. So she has them all dated already. So that's going to be really helpful. I won't have to date them, especially since I'm going to be kind of back planning, kind of giving myself a record of what I've done already. So really nice that they're already dated. So June is done here. Now we're going to move on to printing the other sides. So I'm going to actually take these and flip them over. So they're in the order of the way that they would look in the book. So the first thing I need to do is the other half of January. So the right, right calendar page of January. So we're going to print the right calendar page of January on the back of the left calendar page of February, because that's the order that they would go, right? So whatever I want to print on is facing down. So that means February is facing upwards. So whatever is down in the printer. And honestly, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, I've done this so often, like printing my own inserts, and I've made so many mistakes, wasted so much paper and ink, but now I know how to do it. You're going to go through some trial and error. Even if you follow my directions, like to a T, you're still going to make some, some errors. You're going to make some mistakes, but mistakes are how we learn always. And as soon as you make that mistake, you're going to be like, Oh, that's why that's why she said that whatever I want to print on goes down or like what, whatever, whatever it is. All right. So you can see here, I have the, the left page of February, January is on the back. I'm going to lay it down on top of January. So I have my left side pages here and my right side pages here. And as I'm waiting for the thing that's printing, I go to the next one and I get it up and it's ready. So I don't double print by accident so I don't like question myself on whether I've done that so whatever you're printing on goes down I'm gonna print the other half of February and then as I'm waiting I'm gonna go and get the other side of March ready to print okay other side of February on March I'm gonna grab April So all of my calendars are printed. I haven't decided what I want to put on the back of this one. I don't know if I want to have a spot for notes or line pages, or if I just want to jump right into lesson plans and put line pages in the back. I will, I'll probably end up doing that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and count how many weeks of school we have like in this half of the year. And like I said, I am going to back plan and have a record for myself of what I've done. So I'm gonna go count how many weeks there are and then I'll be back to tell you what I'm doing. 
All right, so I went and counted. I have 23 weeks from the time we came back in January, which we were online for three weeks. And then we go until the 24th of June. And that is minus March break. So I'm not I'm not printing anything out for March break, obviously, because we're not there, which it's it's technically March break right now. You guys are probably gonna see this during March break, which is awesome. Or maybe the week after March break, not sure yet. Uh, but I pulled my lesson planner up. So, and I pulled the wrong page up. I need the left page because <laughs> I'm going to start with the left page. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually put in the right side page of June. So I want to print on this blank side. So I'm going to put this down in my printer. And I'm going to show you guys my lesson planner. And actually I printed a few because I wanted to make sure that they were correct. So this is what I'm currently going to print on the back of June. This is what it looks like. So I have Monday through Wednesday and periods one through six. We do a rotation every 11 or 12 weeks or whatever. So right now my prep is period one, but last semester it was period five. And uh, in April at some point, it'll be period three. So I just put them all on there instead of like picking and choosing and having to figure out when we're actually switching because nobody seems to know when we're switching. So just made them like this and I will put like a strip of washi through whenever my prep is and like Wednesdays are different because like I don't have classes so I have like a meeting and then I cover a class and then I do whatever they need me to do basically. So this is what it looks like. This is the left page so it's the it's the first three days of the week and then this is what the right page looks like. So this is Thursday and Friday and then my to-do list. So I have those. That's what I'm going to print. So right now I'm printing the left page on the back of June so that'll be my first week. So then after that I will only have to print 22 of these and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to batch print 22 of them instead of like, you'll, you'll see. So I'm going to print one of these. Again, I'm going to print best quality because I want it to be the best. I'm very curious to see if colors will be more vibrant on this paper. I think they will. Okay, so we're going to print, print. For some reason, my print border on this shows that it's going to be cut off, but I know it's not because I've tested them. I've printed them out. So on my like print preview, it shows that my period six should be cut off a little bit, but it doesn't get cut off. So not sure what that means, but anyways. But yeah, if you have made it this far in this video, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I hope you are creating your own custom planner or if you're just if you're just like doing the dishes and you want to hear me uh, waffle on about this, then thanks for that as well. Appreciate it. Hope this helps somebody taking forever to print. But yeah, I'm going to come back with with uh, another let's chat video because I want to talk about like the vertical planner I made myself and I want to talk about stickers I'm making myself and I want to talk about my Etsy shop because I've been thinking about that and there's there's just some things I want to talk about so I need to like do a let's chat and it it might happen today because there's a lot of things on my mind I'm starting March break I'm very much in make vacation mode but um we'll see for now just this video right now and I hope you're enjoying it I hope you're learning something new. I hope you're learning a new skill. So this is going to print hopefully, and I'm going to batch print a bunch of them on, make sure the side you want to print on is facing down. I'm going to go batch print 22 of them, and then I'll be back to tell you what I'm going to do for the other side. All right. So I have 22 of these, 22. Uh, I'm just gathering them up. They don't need to be in any specific order, obviously. So I have 22 of the left side of my planner. I'm going to grab an extra white one because I need 23 of both sides. And one side of the left side is on the back of June. So I need a blank one. So I'm going to put it the same way. The side I want to print on is going to be facing down. So that means the side is the blank side. I brought myself a bowl of uh, candy corn. 
So yeah, so a blank side is gonna go down and the top is going to go in the printer first. We're gonna close that. I'm gonna say, okay. I'm gonna open up my right side of my lesson planner and I'm gonna print 23 of them. So one of them will come out with a blank back and then I have to decide what I want on the back of that. This is hard. So I want 23. I'm gonna print. I'm gonna eat a candy corn. And I'm actually doing right now like my front pages. So I just finished my emergency procedures page. I already have my class schedule done. And then I'm gonna do my class rosters. So I have 10 classes, so this is gonna take me a little bit, but that's okay. Do I need this though? Maybe I don't actually need it. Like I want my class rosters in there, but I already have them done. Hmm, I don't know if I'll look at it. It'd be nice to be able to like just grab my lesson planner though, if there was an emergency. I don't know, I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna think about it. All right guys, so here it is. It is the next day. I know I said I was gonna come back and kind of show you what I was doing, but I just got putting it together. I got so excited about it that I just kept going and I finished the whole thing. So I thought I would show you what it looks like. So I did put one of my older covers on. This is a cover that I ordered, never got to use. It actually still had all the little plastic pieces in. So I love my watercolor apples. I'm super into watercolor right now. So here it is. So I will put my name here. And then here are my mini calendars. I will use my little transparent dots to mark off certain things. I usually mark off holidays, PD days, and then like first and last. And then this is our, um, like what, what will we learn? This is so I can like kind of plan ahead and I will just kind of plan in pencil. And then I have like my regular schedule. So like this is what a day looks like. And I have all of my duties here. And like I said before, our blocks switch. So I didn't put any classes in, I just put the periods and then I put like I have no home room. This is our emergency procedures, so I put them all in here. And then, and it's on the really thick paper. I just love it. I have two pages of medical information. I just want a quick glance at like who is allergic to what, who has EpiPens, who has this, this, and that. Because I have pages of this in a, in, a, in a separate emergency binder, but I wanted something portable. I wanted something quick at a glance. Yeah. All right. And then my next few pages are my classes. So I will just show you, I'm just going to cover up their names. So this is what it looks like. So it has class roster. I put all of the class names here and then their number. This is a very small class that I have. And then they're in order by last name and the first name on this side. So I have 10 classes. So I do have 10 pages of class rosters in here. And then I have a seating plan area. So this is what my classroom looks like right now. So I don't, and I only have like four classes that actually have seating plans, but I did put a bunch in if I need to change them. I know that I need to change one class for sure because their seating plan is not working, but they're that type of class that like, I just don't know if whatever I do will work. And then I put some blank ones in case I wanted to move my room around cause I've actually moved it this will be the third time that I've moved it since uh, September. So I, I was in for this teacher quite a bit. I think I've shared this on like my plan with me's and stuff. I've been in for this teacher quite a bit. So I, uh, I really was just already in there. Uh, I put one page of websites, logins, passwords, and obviously I won't like write the full password. I'll probably put like the first letter of the password just to remind me. Most of my devices remember stuff, but if for some reason like they get, I don't know, you know what I mean? Like if they get reset or whatever. <clears throat> and then I have my six calendars. So I have January through to June. And I'd like to use this as kind of like mapping out because I have a weird schedule. So Mondays and Fridays, I teach my seven, eight split and my eights. 
Tuesdays and Thursdays, I teach my sevens and my sixes, and Wednesdays, I don't have any classes. So I have my, my meeting with my team, and then I cover a class for another teacher so he can go to his meeting with his team. And then the past three weeks or so, I've been going and checking if ELA, so the English team, if they need my help, or if they want me to do some marking for them. Usually it's marking which I guess is, is probably a big help for them. I already have all my stuff marked so I can mark other people's stuff. Um, if For those of you that don't know, I am trained as an English teacher. That's what I went to school for. That's what I love. That's where I want to be. Right now I am teaching personal wellness and it's fine. I, 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 get, to, I get to teach. I get to teach and I get to be with my kids and that's good enough for me. You know what I mean? But um, my dream is to be an English teacher. So I love that they trust me enough to grade their stuff this these are the teachers that I was with for my internship and I've basically just been with them since so they really make me feel like part of the team but so does the phys ed, phys ed team so <clears throat> I just I love the staff I work with so here is my lesson plan so obviously I'm going to back plan so I did put 23 of these in here 23 weeks worth and uh yeah, these will be more so for like what we got done because I swear to God, I have my eights on Mondays and Fridays from Monday to Friday. I'm like, what did we do? What did we do on Monday? It, it feels like it's forever from Monday to Friday. So I need to be writing down what we did so I, I know what we need to do on Friday. <clears throat> All right. And then I have a few pages. I say a few pages. I'm pretty sure I put 10 in here. I have a few pages of parent communication logs. I want to be writing this down so I know who I've actually emailed or who I've called or who I've whatever. So it's, you write the student type of contact and then there's like a, a code up here, uh, reason and any notes that you have. And I put quite a few pages and then I also did like 20 pages of these parent teacher conference notes because I want to remember what we talked about. So this year, I really don't know if parent teacher is going to be online like by email or by phone, or if we're gonna be able to do it in person because they're on April 11th. And for us, our all of our mandates are gone on the 14th of March, next Monday. So I don't know, I think we're gonna be able to have it in person. So I'd like to be able to remember what we talked about and who I talked to, you know what I mean? So I put a bunch of these in here. I don't know if they'll be enough. Like I said, I'm a personal wellness teacher, with, which is health. I don't know if I'm going to hear from a lot of parents. Um, and then this is kind of the same thing as the medical service. I don't have very many, and we don't call them IEPs. We call them PLPs, and I don't know why I didn't change that. That's stupid, but that's all right. Um, I don't have very many PLPs. I have a few. I just want to have a quick... Uh, a quick view of it two page quick view just what are the accommodations so I know and then this was gonna be blank so I just put this like my notes page and these are actually from my teacher planner from my student internship so they're just a bunch of colored notes pages and I wanted those in the back I added the stickers from the notebook because stickers and this same thing is the um, folder from my teacher lesson planner from my internship. So I took that out of there. I uncoiled it, put it in here. I hate this little pocket. I love that they, the new ones have like two pockets. So there is that. And that's what it looks like. I have a ruler to add in for my week. And then I think I'm going to use these colorful tabs to tab out my months. And I will obviously have tabs to certain things. Like I will definitely have tabs to like the emergency procedures. Um, I'll probably have tabs to like my class lists. I'll have tabs to my seating plans, like all of that good stuff. So all the tabs, <laughs> all the tabs. Um, I know most teachers don't leave their teacher lesson plan for a supply. I probably will. There's just a lot of good info in here. I don't know but yeah here it is uh, I really hope you guys like this video I hope you learned something useful that you can maybe use in the future and I hope to see you in my next video bye y'all mm -hmm.